guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, I want to say I probably look a little crazy because I have my face makeup on, my eyebrows, and no eye makeup. And that's because we're going to be doing an eye tutorial with the newest Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. This is the second one, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure you do. She created a palette with them like two or three years ago, I want to say. And now they have created another one which has like extra shades, extra highlighters in it, and all that jazz. They revamped like the inside of it and everything. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Also, really quickly, I want to say I know I haven't posted a video in like forever. I'm very inconsistent with my videos, and that's just because of my crazy busy schedule. Um, I don't think I've ever said this before. I work three jobs, <laughs> um, so I pretty much work almost every day, um, but I've been lucky and had a couple days off recently, so... I'm taking the time to sit down and film. Um, my laptop was also like broken for a little while, so it's finally fixed. Uh, so yeah, here I am. Hopefully I can post more, more often, or hopefully at least be able to record for a day and then have videos to put up for you guys. Also, if you subscribe to my channel because I was posting my like fitness or weight loss videos. I am still working on that. I know I like posted three videos I think and then didn't post any more. Um, I'm still trying really hard. I'm still going to the gym. I'm still eating really healthy. Uh, it's definitely not easy. I'm struggling but I'm still on that path. Don't worry I didn't give up. Anyways, back to the palette. If you guys want to see an in-depth review, swatches, and comparison swatches to the first palette, that's going to be filmed as soon as I'm done with the eye tutorial. Um, I don't want that video to be like super long, so I decided to do this first and make it just a separate video on its own. So if you want to see swatches and things like that compared to the first palette, then I am going to be doing that. It actually will probably be up before this, or if not, whatever. I'm going to try to post them very close together. That way you guys can see both of them. So anyways, no more rambling. Let's just go ahead and get into the eye tutorial. So you guys can see I zoomed you guys in so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, I really hope the lighting is okay. I see it like changing in my screen. Um, but anyways, zoomed you guys in. I have concealer on my eyes already, but no eyeshadow, just concealer. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off, I'm going to go ahead and start with this shade here. It's just like a plain creamy vanilla shade, and I'm going to put that all over both of my lids. And the brush I'm using right now is a Morphe E23. I think it's really nice that the cream shade is in this palette because sometimes palettes don't have them and I like to use them just to kind of, you know, set the eye, especially if I have a concealer on top of it. I like to use it because it really helps to blend everything together better. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take this shade here. This is a really nice, warm, sort of like peachy orange transition shade. And I'm taking this again on the E23, and I'm just putting this right in the crease. I don't know if you guys could tell, but right away, as soon as I put the brush on my eye, there was so much pigment. I personally think that the shadows in this palette are way better than the first one. That's just my opinion. Um, and I'm going to go like more in depth with that in, you know, the review and swatch video that I'm going to be doing. So if you want to hear more about that, like I said, make sure you check out that video. I hope that you guys can't hear all the noise outside. It's about to storm. Again, because it's been storming every single day this whole summer um, and you can hear like the wind chimes and stuff and there was like a fire truck that just passed by. Next I'm going to go ahead and take that shade there. This is 
similar to this one with the undertone it's just darker it's just another nice um, warm brown crease shade. The brush I'm using for this is a BH Cosmetics V5 brush. So you can see I'm pretty much just doing the same thing. I'm just putting this right in my crease, blending back and forth and upwards a little bit, not as high as the first shade, but I am blending it up because I want everything to be really soft and smooth and diffused. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this shade. This is the darkest, um, the darkest brown matte shade in the palette and I'm going to take the same brush that I was using before and I'm going to put that in my crease as well. This shade is really warm. It's a little bit warmer than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to go ahead back to my E23 brush and take that shade there. That is the more like cool tone. It has a little bit of a purpley undertone transition shade. And I'm going to kind of just blend that on top of the shadows that I already have down just to kind of make it a little bit more neutral, not so warm. So now I'm trying to decide what shade I want to use on my lid. I was thinking maybe this one or that one or maybe even like one of these, like one of the highlighter shades because obviously like you can use this on your eyes. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this shade. This is a very like peachy duochrome shade. And I'm actually going to go ahead and use this Royal and Lane Nickel brush. I got this from a BoxyCharm. It came with a set of three, I believe, and I really like these brushes. They're very, like, dense but soft. And normally I use my finger for my lid shade, but I really like how this brush picks up and places the product. So this is the brush that I'm going to use. back to these two shades and I'm going to put these on the lower lash line taking one of the other Royal and Lane Nickel brushes same thing just a little bit smaller and now I'm going to take just a little bit of this shade here now I'm going to go ahead and take this highlighter shade and I'm going to use that on the inner corners of my eyes Now that my eyeshadow is done, I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara. If you're curious, I'm going to be using the new L'Oreal, what is this even called? L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I just picked this up last week. I've been using it and to be honest, you guys, I have better mascaras than this. Yeah, I fell into the hype. And I bought it. Everybody was saying it was amazing. Even my friend said that it was good. But honestly, my Maybelline mascara that I always use is better than this. And my Essence mascara. So, I'm just trying to use it now. Now that my eye makeup is done, all that is left is my highlighter. I am, of course, going to use one of the highlighters from this palette. I think I'm going to mix this shade and the lightest shade in the corner, the one that I use to highlight my under eyes. I'm going to mix them together on a fan brush and put it on. Hmm. It's really pretty. I like it. And it doesn't look like powdery on the skin, if you know what I mean. Um, and it doesn't have any like glitter or anything like that. 
And I think that's it, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below and tell me if you bought the palette or if you're thinking about buying the palette. Let me know. Let me know how you think that they blended. I think that they blended super easy. I think that they're very creamy and pigmented. There's definitely no problems with that. So go ahead, comment down below. Leave me your thoughts. Leave me your thoughts about the highlight. For real. Because I, I'm digging it. I think that the highlight is really, really nice. Anyways, you guys. Please don't forget to check out the other video where I'm going to do the comparison swatches. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.